absolutely flawless right here. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Rocco coming back, uh, coming back at you for another 12.5.5 video. Uh, we are on our way to do the uh, test route number one. First test route ever made. And um, probably goes back to some of the furthest versions. Um, this is, of course, going to my parents' house. So we're going to pick up something there and go back in the town. I figured we haven't done this route in a while. So we will go ahead and uh, see how it works. Um, I just want to give another awesome shout out to all the new subscribers. I think we have about 130 in the last 30 days, which is freaking awesome. Um, so if you are uh, subscribed, I really appreciate you. Um, it means a lot that you, that many people are supporting me. I think we have, what, 10,700? Yeah, 10,700 subscribers. Of course, you know, some of those are probably bots or whatever. And some of those are probably old accounts that don't watch YouTube anymore. But nonetheless, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of people that support me, so I appreciate you. And it um, means a lot. But yeah, so we're going to get on the highway, see if it does any merging. It is Labor Day. Um, so traffic is going to be unique, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's not, it's not going to be probably, I would say, slightly elevated traffic is what I would guess. Going through town is a parade today, which might or might not be already done. So I'm not sure what time that was happening. But, uh, yeah, we're just, uh, I expect, um, I think the last time I well, did this, well, no, I've done it once since then, but the best drive I ever had on full self driving was on, hey, there we go, it's doing it again. Maybe it was the extra traffic in the last video. That's kind of inconsistent, but at least it did it. That's that's great behavior that merge onto the highway. And, what, and if you guys aren't clear on what, what I mean by that, oh, it's even lane changing. If you guys are not clear what I mean by that, it turns the blinker on and gets over before the very end of the merge. I think that is an important safety factor. Highways are designed supposedly for a zipper merge. Unfortunately, no, that only works if people give you space that are already on the highway. That just doesn't happen in reality. So it's safest to just go ahead and get over when you have space to do so. And the car is now doing that, which is a very nice improvement. Okay, we're we gonna get back over because this person is tailgating me. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Oh, come on. Yeah, they, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's definitely going on. It's definitely tailgating me. And we might have to, if it doesn't slow down for the speed limit here, and get over. Is it? Hey, it did. So we are definitely gonna want to get over, probably. Okay. I'm just gonna let this car behind me get really annoyed. But there's probably also a police car. So on the way back home from my last video, there was a police car sitting at the bottom of that bridge. So I would much prefer not to speed on a holiday that's just that's the only time I've ever gotten a ticket because it was a speed trap on a holiday actually no way no it was Super Bowl weekend that's what it was yeah and um yeah and so the police cars were out and it was during the middle of the day like this was like four o'clock three or four o'clock in the afternoon um yeah and so got a ticket Okay, I bet it's gonna get over once it pass, passes this truck right here. And now the truck is gonna speed up. Left car. We have a whole, whole line of traffic. Uh, whole line of traffic behind me. Yeah, my preference is not to get over in that lane. I don't know if you guys heard that van honked at me. Because 
they were annoyed that I held up traffic the whole way. But, yeah, that's something, uh, that's something, you know, I haven't really, I've talked about a couple times, but the human psychology of robotaxis is going to be very interesting to pay attention to. There's already a lot of stuff that's annoying people. You know, everyone drives differently. And that's why Tesla is doing the best approach of trying... They're making a robot to actually drive like a human instead of like a robot. Most of the time, you aren't going to know that this is a robot taxi because it's going to drive like a human. It's going to you know, stop the stop sign the way a human will. It's going to it's going to accelerate the way a human will. It's going to make lane changes, etc., etc. But it, what it's not doing, and when you watch you, what it, what I did was what a lot of humans do do. But you're it's a bad example. Humans should get over if they're hell holding up traffic, regardless if they are going um, the speed limit. It's just you're just impeding the flow of traffic. In my opinion, it's just causing more issues than it's worth. Just go ahead and get over, let the traffic go by, and then get then speed back up. Now, unless you have your speed offset set high enough to where it doesn't matter. But as long as they have a speed offset, then it's up to the human to take over for tickets. And so, I would prefer the day when Tesla takes ownership for tickets in, in the car, and not myself. the car thinks just like I do sometimes. Like I was trading off of me or something. <laughs> but um, no, I was like, she could be getting over right now. And as soon as I was, as soon as I made that thought, the car got it, was getting over. So great. Now what he needs to do is slow down. I'm thankful this truck is slowing down, so it forces me to slow down. But it needs to get over. So the last couple updates have ruined this turn right here. Don't bail, don't bail. Okay, they fixed it. They fixed it. Um, it's still, but uh, they improved it again. Hit back to where it was, put it that way. Because it's, um, it would bail every time. And 12.4.2, I think, and up, it would just bail every time. 12.4.1 had the best I've ever had on, on this route. And now maybe 12.5 can, can best that. This Honda Ridge line in front of me does not know how to drive, and now my. <laughs> okay, that was a bad move. I'm gonna go ahead and put a snapshot there, because that um, it should note it should be able to read the fact that they had a blinker on, and should not have flew past that car because there is a high probability that car was not gonna look for me or see me there, and then turn into me. So I was very well aware that that car could have turned into me, I would have taken over. But fortunately, it did not do that. Hey, there's another Model Y towing. <laughs> that makes me excited to see another Tesla towing. Same exact trailer I have. I'm probably, I would have to think it's a local local one so shout out to you if you're uh, can you give a comment below um if you are that if you watch my videos and you are that tesla locally here that would be sick um that would tesla tow and meet up <laughs> but um that one was a model y so that one now she's rated rated for towing but it can't tow it full self-driving unfortunately I was actually just looking beforehand at a, like a 13 foot called, it's called a SCAMP, S-C-A-M-P, um, little RV, it was on, um, on Facebook Marketplace, and, um, well, I can't afford it right now, that's the only type of RV I could tow with this, and, you know, I'm he hesitant, you guys put in the comments down below if, if, if you tow and, like, that's the type of thing, like, it, since this car isn't officially rated, I'm a little bit hesitant to tow. Um, 
In Europe, it's rated for 2,000 pounds and 200 pound tongue weight. The hitch I have is rated for 3,500 pounds and 350 pound tongue weight. So the hitch can handle it. The car, however, due to the way this model 3 is put together on the rear end, it's kind of like glued together in multiple pieces. It doesn't, it's not really the most solid structure back there. And so it worries me to tow that much like that often it's not like you're just towing it a couple hours and back no you're towing it all day long you know if i and in europe they they i think the speed limit or something for towing is like 55 mile an hour like 90 kilometers an hour which <laughs> it's gonna be miserable to go that so i mean i would go 65 tops for sure um but probably like 60 would probably be like kind of a go-to speed 55 just so slow um but i don't know it just kind of depends um but well, tell me what you guys think if, if you have any towing experience how you would how you would handle that okay it still needs to slow down a little bit more going around this and the only reason it's slowing down is because of this um car in front of me See if we can make it all the way through here about getting stuck at the red light. Now, this is one place it's still occasionally messed up, and hopefully, now it's really getting good at no turn on reds. Didn't have to try that out this time, but you know. Oh, the parade has not started. We made it just in time. Okay. I didn't realize the, the parade comes down this road. That's why. And it goes all the way down Main Street. So that's, that's why people are setting up here. And it goes down the road to the right, which actually, if we don't make it into... Well... Sure, that was about that car. Yeah. Bunch of flutes all right here. I, mean, I guess, I guess it's this afternoon. I don't know why I thought it would be in the morning time. I, I had, I played in the high school marching band. The high school we just passed, and every, every summer or every Labor Day we had the, um, play, um, play in the um, parade, and we had to wear the uniforms. Like some, sometimes it was like 90 degrees, and, and you had to wear those going down the. So, oh man, it was hot. Um, it wasn't as big of a deal for me as it was other people. Because I think I'm just cooler natured, but... Yeah. That was... <laughs> that was... That was a... Uh, that was marching band for you. Um... Yeah, okay. See, this is when I'm wondering if a uh, Robotech would honk the horn eventually. Because I don't think it, uh, I don't think they allow it to honk the horn, but I bet you, if it learned from Human Pilot, it would do that. It needs to get it again all the way over in the far left lane. All the way over. Okay. This is looking good. Notice that car is from Tennessee. It's only people from out of this area that incorrectly, flawless, absolutely flawless right here. Absolutely flawless, phenomenal. Okay, we, uh, I don't wanna call it yet that this is the best it's ever been, but we'll see. It did pretty well. Um, still room, there's still room for improvements. You'll see that down in the chapters below the like button, but uh, this is definitely like this is more than acceptable for a robo taxi. I think the the main thing I'm looking at is getting off the highway, which I think is due to it um, still being on version 11. So once it's on version 12 stack for the highway, I think that'll be fixed. I am pretty hopeful. In which case, I'm like you, you wouldn't be able to tell if my eyes were, if I was looking down on my phone in the passenger seat, wouldn't be able to tell that this was not a robo taxi. That guy waved. Yeah. 
I wish the Tesla way was still a thing. We're too, we're, there's just too many Teslas now. I think we've passed like 10 Teslas on the way here. When I first got my car in 2018, I'd be lucky to pass one on the route we're taking. I'd be lucky to pass one other Tesla. I, I usually had once a week I'd see a Tesla. Now you see like 10 on the way on the way here. It's crazy. And that and then they're all Model Ys half the time. And I would have a Model Y too if it wasn't the fact that they didn't have them out in 2018. Guys, we have one final turn. Technically, the 12.4 that or yeah, 12.4 that one did not make this turn, and it's either gonna go for it. Okay, it could have gone a little bit faster. Could have gone a little bit faster, but otherwise, hey, I just call that the best it's ever done. Definitely, that's that's makes me really happy. It makes me really happy they finally have improved that. I don't know. Um, just really happy overall with this version. Um, I'm hoping they get gets it to you guys soon. Um, if you have questions for me, put them down below, and I will see you in the next video. I think that was because I thought something was in the road right there. But yeah, I don't think that was necessarily a bad thing. Anyways, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.